Hi, it's day 123 with the gastric balloon, and I don't really have anything new to report. I just, um, I'm sitting here working at home, and I was watching, I turned on clicking, cl turned on the TV, was clicking through the channels, and I saw this program called um, 1,000 Pound Best Friends. Had never heard of the show before, had never seen it before. Um, of course, I've, you know, there's a lot of shows about weight loss and women. It's always women, right? Um, and I just saw it. It's kind of crazy, but I just I saw this sort of wonderful moment where they were helping each other get on the scale, um, not physically, but just emotionally and talking about, you know, the emotional um, um, like agita that you get when you're about to get on the scale, when you know, like it's been a bad, you know, you've a bad time or you've cheated or you've... Um, you know, you've not been going by your diet plan or whatever. And it just reminded me <coughs> of how it is for me when I get on the scale sometimes. If I know that I haven't, um, that I've eaten some highly caloric things or when it's been quite a while since I've done any kind of significant exercise. So that's all I wanted to, to, to say today. Um, shout out to that show and shout out to those, those four women who are friends and who are, um, overweight. <clears throat> I don't know the show well enough to know how much each of them weighs. <clears throat> well, I guess I do now because I just saw them all get on the scale and they talked about <clears throat> their starting weight um, and then the weight on the scale. But just um, maybe shout out to everybody out there who, um, you know, has to get on a scale every now and then and kind of like steals themselves for the bad news. I know what that feels like. I, I feel that pain. Um, Sometimes it's it's a surprise. It's a wonderful surprise, and it's great news. Like I had recently when I finally got under two hundred pounds. But sometimes it's not, and I, I had many, many, many days like that where um, the news was not good on the scale. So yeah, I'm just kind of thinking about that. I'm ruminating on that right now. Um, <clears throat> how that little square machine, whatever you want to call it, the scale, can kind of. Um, be such a mind, um, I'm trying to avoid cursing. <coughs> it can really just mess with your mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, emotionally and mentally, you have to really be prepared to stand on it and, and receive the news it gives. Not go into denial, um, but also not go into depression and be afraid because the number is bad. But to... To just accept it and accept it as just a way to change course, change tack, or continue on as an affirmation of what you're doing. Um, but using the scale as a tool versus as a, a torture device or a way to punish yourself or um, like a, 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 a um, how do I want to, what's the word? Like something that tells you that you're wrong and bad. Don't let it be that. Let it just be the same kind of tool that everything else is. Don't be afraid of the scale. Don't overuse it, but don't underuse it. It's a tool. Um, it's only information, and, and, and what you do with information is your choice, <coughs> but it's also your power. <laughs> I guess my cat agrees, right? I guess my cat agrees, right, Booby? Yeah, just a little, some thoughts about the scale and weighing in. On day 103, 123, day 123, I'm tired, <laughs> bye. <laughs>